Well, for some reason, Ruby started leaking water. Maybe it always has. I just now noticed it. I don't know. So, today was going to be our water test day. It might be raining out, but this seemed like the best way to do it. So we'll just sit here and let it run for a little bit, and I'm going to jump in there in a second. See if I can see where it's coming in. Oh, well, there it is. Looking right out of the bottom of the door there. Of course, then it just runs right into the floor pan. Now, how in the heck do I start stop that, and where is it coming from? Yeah, just coming right in the seal there. Weird, huh? Guess I can try to bend that corner up a little bit. See if that will stop it. I think I found the leak. I ended up adjusting the, the door hinge, unfortunately. I ended up having to adjust this upper hinge because it wasn't sealing right through here. Now, on the, the downside was I had to, you know, unstrap the door to work on that, and I made a big mistake, and I let the mirror go, and the mirror came over here. Ding this little guy. I'll go ahead and pull this plate off and these screws and pull that plate off. It looks like that's all that's holding it on. See if I can't uh, get that bent back out, but, you know, god dang it. If the hinge would have been adjusted properly in the first place, I wouldn't have to be doing this. But my mistake, my oversight, I missed it. Okay, well, I'm just going to let her go for about an hour. And I went ahead and adjusted this passenger door, too. Because we had some, I'd been seeing some water in its floorboard, too. So let's see what the heck happens. Uh, <laughs> maybe when I come back in an hour it will have grown and it will be a bigger Jeep, right? Oh, dang it, it's still leaking. There it went. That runs down to here. Can I get focused back in? There you go. There it is. And then it gets to that low spot. One drip at a time. Don't know where it's starting at. Oop, there it goes. So it's coming down below the dash. There's one right there. Behind the hook. Now this one's real steady right here on the seal. I've been trying to figure out why this thing has started to leak on the inside now. Actually, I think it probably always has. Uh, my Lincoln, I had it detailed three weeks ago or so by a local shop here, and they killed my Kenwood nav unit in the car, so I had to take it out. 
and send it to uh, Kenwood to be repaired. So I've been driving the Jeep as my daily driver. Normally Ruby's parked in the garage 24-7 unless we go up to the mountains. And when we go up to the mountains, it's just not normally rainy. So that's kind of a bummer. I try to adjust the door post. It's still leaking a little bit, not a lot, but you can see where it's running all the way down the front of the door and um, it's just not acceptable. So when I take, take her in on Thursday to have them look at the transmission, manual transmission already gone, I can't, can't even put it in reverse, uh, I'll have them look at the, the leak on the doors. I mean, it's just, it just pathetic. I mean, you pay a lot of money for a vehicle and you, I'm, gosh, my Lincoln's what, it's a 98? And <laughs> the doors on it doesn't, don't, don't leak. And so why do the doors on this guy leak? But anyway, it's quality nowadays. Talk to y'all later.